Allegheny Technologies Incorporated (ATI) is a specialty metals company headquartered at 6 PPG Place in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. ATI produces titanium and titanium alloys, nickel-based alloys and superalloys, grain-oriented electrical steel, stainless and specialty steels, zirconium, hafnium, and niobium, tungsten materials, forgings and castings. ATI's key markets are aerospace and defense, particularly commercial jet engines, over 50% of sales, oil and gas, chemical process industry, electrical energy, and medical. The company organizes its products into two segments, high-performance materials and components, which includes titanium-based alloys, nickel-based alloys and superalloys, zirconium and hafnium. Flat rolled products, which includes titanium and titanium alloys, nickel based alloys, specialty alloys, duplex alloys in sheet, strip, and plate form, grain oriented electrical steel. The company's plants in western Pennsylvania include facilities in Harrison Township, Allegheny Ludlam's Brackenridge Works, Vandergrift, and Washington. The company also has plants in, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, California, South Carolina, Oregon, Alabama, Texas, Connecticut, Massachusetts, North Carolina, Wisconsin, Shanghai, China, and several facilities in Europe. Topic history In 1939, the merger of Allegheny Steel of Pittsburgh and Ludlam Steel of Watervliet, New York created Allegheny Ludlam Corporation. The merged company manufactured steel for the Chrysler Building and Empire State Building in New York City and for the Model A Ford. Through the 1970s, Allegheny Ludlam periodically cooperated with Ford to build several one off promotional cars with stainless steel bodies. Three such cars are on display in the Crawford Auto Aviation Museum. In 1978, the company acquired Wilkinson Sword and Scripto. Scripto was sold to the Tokai Corporation of Japan in 1984. In 1986, the company suffered a $198 million operating loss and chairman Robert Buckley stepped down amid accusations of mismanagement. In 1987, Wilkinson Sword was sold to Swedish Match for $230 million. In 1987, Allegheny Ludlam became a public company via an initial public offering. In 1993, the company acquired Jessup Steel. In 1996, it merged with Teledyne to form Allegheny Technologies. The company then spun off several subsidiaries as independent public companies such as Teledyne Technologies and Waterpik Technologies in 1999, to concentrate on its core business of metal and alloy production. In 1998, the company acquired certain assets of Lucan's Washington Steel when it was sold to Bethlehem Steel. In 2004, the company acquired JL Specialty Steel. In 2005, the company sold its World Minerals subsidiary. To French company Imeries. In 2010, the company acquired Laudish for $778 million. Allegheny Technologies debuted its ATI 425 titanium alloy on June 14, 2010, at the Land and Air Land Defense and Security Exhibition Eurosatory in Paris, France. <laughs> environmental record Allegheny Ludlam's Natrona, Pennsylvania and Brackenridge, Pennsylvania plants contributed to the waste at the Alsco Park Lindane Dump, an EPA Superfund site. These plants also released chromium into the air, which adversely affected air quality at schools in the Highlands School District. In 2005, Allegheny Ludlam agreed to pay a $2,375,000 penalty to settle a lawsuit brought by the U.S. Department of Justice on behalf of the United States Environmental Protection Agency in 1995, which alleged that the company had unlawfully discharged oil and other pollutants, such as chromium, zinc, copper, and nickel, into the Allegheny River and Kiskimanetas River in the suburbs of Pittsburgh. 